Hey guys, it's Katie and welcome back to my channel. I am so glad you are here and for today's video We are going to be doing another makeup review video I did do a rare beauty makeup review slash first impression So if you haven't seen that go ahead and check it out. It'll be like linked right up here. I think or maybe it's up here figured that out yet anyways I've got my box of things right here I have not opened the box or tested out any of these products yet so I am very excited if you don't know item beauty is Addison Ray's makeup line she like co-founded it I'm pretty sure I follow like Addison Ray on TikTok and on Instagram and I think she's a pretty cool gal and I think her makeup always looks pretty good so hopefully these products uh work out I'm sorry if the lighting's weird by the way I don't really know like what to do so they look like somebody from that 70s show, real talk. I really don't know what to tell you. I The energy in this video is kind of everywhere, so I just like to apologize in advance. Okay, so let's get started and actually try out some of the products. Okay, I am just like constantly impressed with brands's like, brands's? I'm just constantly impressed with brands like packaging and marketing. This is what it looks like. Like it comes with like a cute little like sticker and like wrapping paper and stuff like that. I don't know. I just think it's cute. Okay, I don't know if y'all can see the products, but this is what the mess of it looks like. So these are the few products that I got. I am low-key kind of obsessed with the packaging. I think it's really, really cute. And I haven't really seen anything like this. Alright, so the first one we're gonna be trying out today is her brow chow. This is what the box looks like, it just says item beauty on it. And it's blue their like colors are like um, orange and blue I'm pretty sure it's so cute oh my gosh this product by the way was $14 and I got the color medium brown so let's just go ahead and open it up the main reason why I got this product is because I just thought this thing was so so cute like the eyebrow brush that they have I uh, it's just so cute and soft and little. It's got more of like the brow definer shape from Anastasia I don't know if you guys have ever tried that one out it's like a triangular it's like a triangular kind of shape. So let's go ahead and try this out. My brows are very everywhere at the moment. So let's just not mind that. Okay, right off the bat, it is a very thick consistency and it's placing on product very well. It's not as waxy as most brow pencils, which I actually kind of like because it's actually like giving me some color on my bald spot where my scar is. All right, let's just do the other eyebrow real quick and then we're gonna have a quick chat, okay? So when using this brow pencil, you definitely wanna use like light and soft strokes. It is very pigmented and it is very creamy. So like it's covering all my bald spots, but my eyebrows do look actually insane right now. Probably should have gone up a shade to a lighter shade. Other than that, I think the formula is kind of great. Uh, the toothbrush thing doesn't quite do it for me as I thought it would. Let me try to fix the lighting. This is the part of the video where I decided to spend almost 30 minutes trying to fix the lighting, in which I didn't fix it, but whenever I come back from doing my base, you'll see that it gets better, so just wait for that part. All right, who thinks I should invest in a ring light? Me? You? Glad we're on the same page. I feel like the lighting, like, I look dead, but like, at least you can see the products. Like, that's what matters, right? <laughs> I'm going to go ahead and do like my base products, do like my normal order of makeup that I kind of do, and then I will be right back. All right, so I got my base on. I actually had to redo everything because I really screwed up, and the second time that I did it, I really kind of screwed up too, but we just kind of went with it and hope for the best. The second product that we're going to try is the lid glaze right here. This is what it looks like. Again, the packaging, super cute. This is coin toss. I don't know if you guys can tell, but it's like pretty sheer, but it's also this really pretty like bronzy brown. The lid glazes are $14 as well, by the way, and it is also marketed as a hydrating jelly eyeshadow. So let's see if this puppy works, shall we? All right, now I'm gonna quickly try and blend it. I think I'm going to put like a little bit more in my crease. It's a really pretty color though. I'm gonna put some more on and just kind of coat it up. Right now my eye kind of low key looks a little bit um, crazy. So I'm just gonna go ahead and take, I don't know, one of the more bronzy shades for my palette and just kind of pop it in the crease a little bit. I feel like it'll make it look a little bit better. 
Once I have the other eye done too, it'll probably look a little bit better. Okay, this time I'm gonna try putting in the shade before. Because this is uh, just us testing it out, right? We don't have to be perfect on the first go, right? I'm gonna go ahead and try it on this eye and see what I can do. Uh, it's also like just very chunky. Kind of like low-key and consistent. I think it's pretty. Like if you look really closely like at my eyes, it's not really like there <laughs> anymore. I'm gonna put like a little bit more on. It's definitely not an eyeshadow base. I will tell you that it's more of just a like overlay or glitter. What do you guys think? Does it look nice, good, cool? So that's what the lid glaze looks like. Not really my favorite product, not really my least favorite product. I just really wasn't sure what it was intended for. I feel like I still just need to fix this eye makeup look. Let me fix it. Then I spend about 30 minutes of my time trying to fix it in which it just didn't want to be fixed. So I promise I'm not this bad at makeup, just roll the clip. So this is just kind of low-key interesting for me. Okay, in person it looks great, on camera I can't tell. On camera it low-key kind of looks like So, love that for me. Let me keep trying to fix it. Why just does it just not? All right, we're gonna go back in with the lid glaze one more time and see if it'll be different. Okay, so that's about layer like 75. Um, the next product we have is the Lash Snack. Love that, I think that name is absolutely adorable. I love a good marketing scheme to get me to buy products because it actually works. I think this is just the basic black shade. Again, the packaging is the same as all the other ones. Got this nice ombre blue matte with this nice sheeny silver, love it. I love the way the matte part of it feels. It just kinda feels really cool. The mascara is also $14. Let's just go ahead and try her out. Ooh. So the wand looks like this. Okay, it's a very dry formula, which I personally like because whenever it's wet, I feel like it gets everywhere and everything's way too clumpy, which I am not a fan of. I don't know. What do you guys think? All right, now I'm gonna do my lower lashes. I'm pretty happy with the way my upper lashes look though. I think they look really good. Just like I thought, this brush is perfect for lower lashes, especially because it's a dryer formula, so it's not really gonna get everywhere whenever you're doing your lower lashes, which I find with wetter formula and mascaras. Let me clean up the bits that I made a mess with, just really quick. My eyes look fire. 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 This might be my new favorite mascara. So yeah, this is what it looks like. All right, now onto our last product. I am very excited to try this out. This is called the Lip Quip. Adorable, again, with the names. By the way, this retails for $12. All right, anyways, let's try the lip quip. Ugh, okay, can I just be honest with y'all? I just love a good lip gloss. I, you just can't go wrong, you know? Okay, so the apulic... Apulic? So the applicator is just a little bit different. I don't know if y'all could tell. It's kind of like a weird... Oh, I just built it on my hand. Well, that is just lovely for me. Um... Low-key, whenever I looked inside here, it is like halfway gone. Find that kind of interesting. Um, so, let's try it. I don't know which side to use, probably this side. Ooh. What is that smell? It reminds me of the way my butter bronzer smells. I don't know what that smell is. It's like, uh, like very tropical. It's got this like clear rosy tone, kind of like the best swatch that I could do. But yeah, I think it's just a basic lip gloss that I could probably get from the drugstore or anything. But I think the smell is really great. It smells like, kind of smells like grapefruit. I don't, I don't know if that's what I'm smelling or not, but it smells like fruit of some sort. I don't know exactly which one, but it smells like that. So, real quick, I'm gonna do some brow gel because I haven't had the chance to do that yet. And then I'm going to go ahead and rank all the products for you guys. Okay, brow gel is on. This is what my face looks like. I think the makeup overall turned out pretty well, even though we did hit a few um, bumps in the road. So now I'm just gonna go ahead and review the products for you guys. Let's start out with my least favorite, which will probably be, no surprise to y'all, the lip clip. Again, it came halfway full. Uh, 
not very impressed with that kind of disappointed and it's just like a basic lip gloss I think the best part about it is the smell I feel like you could find something at the drugstore that's exactly the same for a cheaper price and probably more product in the bottle so this is fourth for me next I'm gonna go ahead and put the item beauty lid glaze this just didn't do it for me. I tried and I tried to I tried to make it work. As you guys saw, I'm pretty sure I reapplied it like four or five times. It is buildable to some point, but then it also gets patchy. So then if you like try to build it too much, then it's just not gonna look good. You just have to be kind of careful with how much you're using and how you blend it out in order to see it, or else it will literally just kind of evaporate into thin air and you'll only see like a little bit of like bronze sparkles kind of thing. Probably just try one from the drugstore that would kind of do the same thing. Or I would splurge on the Stila ones that these kind of remind me of, cause it's almost like the exact same thing and the exact same idea. And I know those are super great and super pigmented because I've used one of those before so that's why this is in third in second place I'm gonna put the brow chow pencil which honestly I did enjoy for $14 to get a decently good brow pencil that's a great price because if you look at it the Anastasia one is about like $23 for the exact same thing so you're saving about like $9 the formula is a lot different than the Anastasia pencil that I personally do really like the Anastasia pencils are very waxy and um, hard whereas this one is super creamy like in Incredibly creamy. Not the biggest fan of the like triangle tip that this has just because it can't be as precise. I think with this pencil, it's just trial and error, which I do think that's how it is with almost every makeup product, especially eyebrows, figuring out how you like it and stuff like that. But for me personally, for my needs, for my brow needs, I like it. So this is number two. Coming in at number one, which is probably no surprise, is the lash snack. I love this mascara. As you can see, my lashes are just very long and they just look very pretty, but also natural at the same time. And that's the kind of vibe that I like for my mascaras. And I do love a good dry formula mascara. Plus, because of the short little wand, it's perfect for under my eyes. So needless to say, I will definitely be repurchasing this all of the time. All right, you guys, I hope you guys did enjoy this video and learned a little bit about Item Beauty and kind of saw if you guys wanted to buy their products or not, at least the ones I tried out. I do overall like the brand, but some of the products just didn't amount to greatness as the other products did, which is true for every brand because I don't think every brand can have an amazing, like, Thing for every product. Anyways, go ahead and give this video a thumbs up if you did enjoy it. It really helps me out. And also subscribe if you want to see my face in your subscription box every week. I normally post on Thursdays. I just didn't say that right there. So Thursdays. Ah. All right. Love you guys. Thanks so much for watching. Bye.